Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in again to the Dali Society. I thought I'd bring you outside again. This is one of my favorite trees, especially in the summertime. It's a bit breezy out here, but hopefully nothing's gonna bash me on the back of the head like the end of my January Mates video. If you didn't see that, you didn't stick around to the end, you can see me getting clobbered on the head by my running rack of clothing, but I like to leave those kind of bloopers in to entertain you now and again, but no injuries were made. No, no one was harmed in the uh, making of that vlog other than a bit of a bump, but I'll survive to live another day. <laughs> now today I'm under my gorgeous Chinese elm tree. I love this because of the beautiful fern-like leaves. It's really cool to sit underneath and in the autumn time it actually, eh, is that windy? In the autumn time it actually goes to a really vivid golden shade. So I love it in summer because it's that really bright lime green but it turns into the most gorgeous golden colour. Love a good deciduous tree. I think they really add just some vibrancy and colour to the garden. I want to talk a bit about what I've been sewing. Uh, I've got a little tiny bit of fabric here. I, have, I better tell you what I'm wearing before I forget because I do have a habit of doing that. This is the Patton Emporium Spellbound dress. Now this one I've made quite a few times in the past in the long maxi length. This time I've made it in a midi length and I've also made a belt for it but I haven't got the belt on today. It's just a comfortable t-shirt style dress with a lovely a-line shape and it's in the most beautiful organic cotton that was from Nerida Hanson Fabrics. It is the Protea uh, the rainbow protea print just love this fabric now not only do nerida hansen sell their fabrics online but they also have other stockists other fabric stores sell their fabric too so uh the pit trading that i purchased this from do have a stock of nerida hansen fabrics there but i really love the organic cotton jersey it just washes and wears so beautifully the colors are really vibrant you can see i washed this a couple of times already and the colors are still very bright and vivid so love this fabric so what i'm making this week i am in the midst of making a Patton emporium uh tank style top now i've made a couple of time out tanks a favorite pattern of mine from last summer that beautiful cutaway sleeve i've got two of those i've just whipped up a plain black one i haven't got them here in front of me a bit naughty but i haven't done pics yet the other one is a really nice rust fabric. Now those yeah. cotton jerseys were from Wattle Hill Fabrics. So I am planning on wearing those with some skirts. The other style top I'm making from Patton Emporium, I wanted something a little bit different because I've made that many time out tanks. I need something a tad different, uh, is the uh, Endless Summer Tank Top. That comes in a variety of sleeves as well as a variety of necklines. And I'm going for the scoop uh, not the dramatic scoop, the one up from that. It's a scoop neck with a kind of a capped sleeve, but it's a, almost a thicker style strap that just skims over the shoulder. But quite similar to this, I think, by the time you've got it on, but I really like that, and I'm uh, planning on making a couple of those. And the first one is in a khaki, and the other one will be in a kind of a grape um, plum style colour. Now, the other thing I'm in the middle of, I'm going to insert some pics so you can see exactly what that is, in a leopard print rayon i've decided to finally cut out a sorrento skirt from starlight patterns now i actually purchased this skirt last year i love it because it's an elastic waist skirt and they're my favorite to wear they're so comfortable but i really love the type of frill and it's a really unusual pattern so you fold it in half lengthways instead of widthways of fabric to get your pieces all in there. So I think it just needs just over two metres of fabric. So quite a good pattern for uh, for a longer style skirt, but really excited to see how it comes up. So uh, that's all cut out and ready for me to sew. But I think a good uh, leopard print round skirt is just such a good basic because you can wear it all year round. I'm thinking even with like a black linen blazer or maybe for winter like a little black moto jacket uh, with a roll neck would really be really nice with some boots uh, but for summer the time out tank i really love the look of that with uh, a long floaty skirt now another skirt i've seen i've been doing a little bit of looking around and i've actually um i quite often will look online and see what different uh, stores have and what's coming in and out of fashion and there are quite a lot of beautiful looking boho style skirts around and i really love the look of the elastic waist skirt my daughter's actually got a really lovely uh kind of a georgette fabric with the underlining underneath it just an a-line style boho skirt with the elastic quite a thick elastic waist with a little tie on the front 
And I love that look of the True Bias Maeve skirt. I think that's a really lovely, simple style pattern. Even though it's done in tears, you can actually do it just in a simple um, long length as well. So that's another pattern I'm looking at. I'd love to show you guys a skirt pattern episode. So maybe some different styles that I've seen that I'd love to make uh, because they're a really versatile thing to have in a wardrobe. And sometimes you might not be in the mood to wear a dress. You might want to just dress up just a tad. Um, but it's not going to be overdoing it. I think a skirt you could quite easily dress down. So they're really practical things to have in the wardrobe and they don't take up too much fabric. Now, another pattern that I am about to look for some fabric for, I've got quite a bit of fabric in the stash. I want to use a plain rayon. It's another Maeve pattern, but this, star, this time it's a Stylark Maeve dress. And it's actually a lovely simple style that you can do something really unique with the um, point of the skirt. You can bring it across and loop it on a little button. Uh, it gives that like a waterfall looking um, draped style, uh, but I haven't cut out the fabric yet. I'm thinking of maybe a plain uh, emerald green fabric could look really nice in that dress too. Onto some fabric deliveries. I actually have loved making some solid plain things. And a lot of you have said that they've loved, you've loved seeing me in them for a change because I'm always making prints. And I just find that having a good solid basic in the wardrobe is just something to reach for again and again. Now, one thing I've had my eye on since my Vlogmas Christmas giveaway was my designs double gauze fabric because I had some fabric delivered that the lovely Mikey has uh, had delivered a lovely big parcel to the winner uh, and one of those things in there was her double gauze it was just beautiful quality and no two double gauzes are alike you will find a lot of them the maybe the, the cheaper variety can be a bit uh, they can grow a bit they can be quite a loose more loose weave uh, double gauze can be a hard one to pick but I knew from seeing this fabric that I knew I was getting quality so she sent me a lovely little card here too I love the cards that come from my design a little handwritten note on the back there and I have chosen I don't know what I'm making I, shall, I do kind of think I know what I'm making because there's a brand new uh, pattern being released very shortly which could look good in this I love that you get little labels with my design deliveries as well how nice is that made with love and that one says sewing is so that's really cute and also you always get some samples now this sample is a nanny Iro quilted double gauze i've seen that on their website how beautiful would that be for a jacket heading into autumn maybe the tamarack jacket from the green line studios i have made that before and you do have to do your own kind of quilting so if it's already pre-quilted that just solves the problem makes it such an easy jacket to make but have a look up close it's 100% cotton with polyester lining. It's like a very lightweight batting, 106 centimeters uh, wide. So uh, not overly wide, but you wouldn't need it to be that wide because the pattern itself is made with the two front panels. Um, yeah, that's a really lovely color as well. It's got a little floral print on the side there. And this one is a Lady McElroy Lawn, um, really pretty navy print. So it's really nice to get some samples put in there so you can actually uh, taste. You can actually feel the feel of the fabric, how the weight is in the hand. And I think that's a really nice thing to, to have, to have that accessible. Um, so the cotton double gauze that I chose was this beautiful wine kind of um, Merlot, maybe burgundy you'd call it, really pretty colour. And I am thinking a gorgeous summery dress. One that I was thinking about making was the Shelby dress from True Bias. I've made the jumpsuit in that. Many years ago, I did a collab with Tamlin and with Keely, and we all made a version of that Shelby, uh, either the romper or the dress. And I've always thought how well, it, when, I, when I wear it, how good I feel in it. But this time I'd love to make just the dress version, not the actual jumpsuit. It has got that tie back um, waist tie, so you can bring the shaping in and a really nice neckline. But what I love is the hack that you can get for that dress, which is a puff sleeve hack. So I'll be definitely doing that maybe doing it kind of a half sleeve length so have a look up close the color uh, and also the weave of it it's a really nice kind of a structured weave for a double gauze so one side is a little bit more spongy and the other side is a bit you can use either side of this to sew with um, but you know not really not really too thick and not too thin so just a perfect weight and a lot of nice drape on that as well so it's just so nice to wear for a warm day. I think a double gauze is just a beautiful thing to have in the wardrobe. And my daughter actually has a black 
double gauze dress in the assembly line cuff dress pattern um, so that's one that I still haven't made and I'd love to make in the future but that fabric will be gorgeous in some kind of dress now my beautiful friend Gabrielle is very very generous she's a lovely person if you haven't uh, been able to see cloth edits website you have you are missing out because there's some beautiful curated fabrics I always say that if I had my own fabric store I think I would choose just about everything that Gabrielle has got there uh, not only does she source gorgeous um, prints but also some fantastic planes as well she always sends me a little gift every now and again and then I I'm very appreciative of that because everything that I have purchased myself from cloth edit and everything that Aunt Gabrielle sent me has been really worn with love and made with love and washed well and it's just fabrics that feel nice on the body a lot of natural fibers as well so um, yeah big thank you to her for sending this but she also always puts in a little um, tea bag with her handwritten note just such personalized service and also some samples as well you'll find she yeah she'll send you a little swatch card with all sorts of fabrics that she has in her fabric store some gingham and some beautiful prints as well something some of these are brand new too so I think you will really love ordering from Gabrielle and as well as that uh, she always puts a little handwritten card in I just love reading you know, what she writes to me handwritten cards are always really beautiful so I'm going to open a parcel that she sent me now this was I received this uh, about three days ago and it's been sitting in this package waiting and taunting me to open it and I didn't want to do it until I did it on screen here for you guys to see because I want you to see how beautiful her fabrics are wrapped so look how beautifully wrapped that is and the ribbon is this lovely tape measure ribbon and I always keep these because they're great to have to use for little labels as well as to just keep in your trim box under the sewing desk and a little cloth edit sticker as well so I'm going to open this now she has told me what this is but I haven't seen it in person I've seen it on the website and I must say it is just stunning what I've seen actually it has sold out once before so this is the second lot in so if you love this I would not hesitate I'd get online and actually uh, grab the piece for yourself because it's just beautiful fabric now this is one of her linen and silk blends and you'll all know how much I love the linen silk blends from cloth edit the colors online are so vivid and bright and beautiful it's called the revel in pink look at the color in that it is just stunning beautiful bright bright reds and oranges and that gorgeous fuchsia pink what an amazing uh, blend of colors that is I just think this is stunning um, this could be one of a few things I was actually thinking of making a March dress or March top from Helen's closet but it might be a little bit too much fabric I don't want to waste an inch of this fabric um, even a shirt dress I think would be stunning the Michelle sews uh, Effie shirt dress could be one that I'm thinking of um, it also would make a stunning style kimono or duster style jacket I think that would be really really pretty as well I want to show you the drape in it too you know linens can be very stiff but with that bit of silk in there it really lends itself nicely and gives that nice soft kind of sheen it's just beautiful to wear so that could be a dress or maybe a duster I'm not a hundred percent sure yet now I love Patton Emporium songbird duster that is a really pretty duster pattern as well as the lichen duster from um, so liberated so a kind of newish pattern from seaweed patterns called the Quincy day robe now that actually is a very pretty pattern as well so that is my week that's what I've been up to thanks for sticking with me today I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of fabric not too much I've been very very good I haven't been purchasing too much I'd love to hear what you've been sewing this week write in the comments below I always love hearing from you guys sometimes it can take me a matter of a few days maybe even a week to get back to you but I do try my best to communicate just to let you know I've been reading I do read every single comment that comes in because I love that communication side of things and hearing from you guys as well don't forget you can also follow me over on Instagram to see what I'm up to um, most days I do post on my stories there to keep you all up to date thank you for watching take care and happy sewing and we'll see you very soon bye for now